Uh, and this is my janky ass terrible Red Dwarf themed homebrew script because I really, really wanted to show off some of the homebrewing capabilities uh, <laughs> of this app because it's been a while since we've done that. Um, so I am a terrible artist. In fact, being a terrible artist would, as a prerequisite, need that I have to be an artist. Uh, and I'm not an artist, so I'm a non-existent artist. So these tokens look like ass. Uh, if anybody wants to make good red dwarf tokens for me, uh, I can't pay you, but I will happily let literally anyone other than me do it for me. Just putting that out there. Uh, but here we go. We're gonna run. We're gonna run. It's cold outside. Homebrew scripts. What we do that. With? Yeah, three of these outsiders do just meld into one giant blob. Uh, okay, let's select some characters. Uh, so I think I've got some interesting interactions here uh, and characters that I that are quite that I think are quite interesting. Um, I think what we'll probably do this is eleven play game, so it should have one outsider in. Uh, but we do have a demon that adds in a townsfolk. Uh, so paranoia. Each night selects player they die. If confidence is alive, both of their living townsfolk neighbors are poisoned. Plus one confidence. So let's have paranoia come in and add in confidence. Whose ability is each night choose anti-clockwise or clockwise. Tonight the nearest living townsfolk neighbor in that direction is sober healthy and receives true info. The paranoia will make both of their neighbors poisoned, but confidence will unpoison one of them each night. Um I really, really want to um to have the one minion be Mr. Flibble. <laughs> if you're not a Red Dwarf fan, these names are going to sound very stupid, by the way. <laughs> uh, Mr. Flibble uh, is the only minion in play, and until there are enough minions in play, Mr. Flibble can choose each night to turn a good player into a minion. So we're going to have Mr. Flibble um, have that ability. Uh, we need to have one outsider in play. Um, I think we'll probably go with Dwayne Dibley because they can add in multiple Dwayne Dibleys. Interesting. Good cannot win if there are no living outsiders. So let's see if we can let's see if we can uh, have three Dwayne Dibleys. Oh, the token doesn't have the capability to do it. Need, do I need to add that in at the programming level or something? All right, we're not having a Dwayne Dibley. Um Let's go with Captain Hollister then. If you die today, choose a player, not yourself. If they are evil, one of their living good neighbours becomes evil tonight. Alright, that'll do. Um, <clears throat> okay, townsfolk. Uh, I quite like... Uh, again, I can't hand out multiple scutters, which is kind of annoying, because I really like the scutters ability. But I think everybody's going to like Talkie Toaster. So, Talkie Toaster's ability is each night you learn how many people who publicly said how do you doodly do today are good. But if you're mad about being Talkie Toaster, once you lose this ability. So we'll, we'll, add, we'll add that guy in. Uh, I'm not going to put Jesus in, I don't think. Um, you start knowing three characters, at least one of them is a demon bluff. That's pretty useful. So, each night you learn if either of your living neighbours are either drunk or poisoned. So that's pretty handy because... People being drunk or poisoned on this can actually be indicative of what good and evil players uh, are in play. Oh yeah, I could add a I could add a gardener in, couldn't I? That, that would work. Let's add a gardener in. Um, yeah. So now I can... I can just hand out characters, Connor. So we'll leave... We, we will have a Scutter. You know what? We'll just have one Scutter in. That's fine. We'll just have the one. The Gardener. It's fine. What does Jesus do? I think so. First of all, Jesus is a character in Red Dwarf. I'm just just for people who don't know, I've just randomly added a deity in there. Uh, if you die at night, you are resurrected on the final night as a good character of your choice. Um, so it's pretty powerful. Uh, I think we'll probably leave Jesus. Yeah, well, I think we'll leave Jesus out. 
Uh, Holly, each night, the first time an evil player selects you tonight, they are instead drunk until. Uh, that, that's pretty pretty handy to have. And now we just need one more. Um, we go with cat. Each night, select one of your living neighbors. They cannot die, but your other living neighbor, if good, is drunk. Let's go with that. All right, I think we've got a pretty decent setup here. Why is it? So oh yeah. So we need. We're gonna need one extra baddie. Or oh, sorry, one extra goodie because of Mr. Flibble. Um. So let's go with. I should know this because it's my own bloody script. Uh, let's go with the vending machine. Each night, select an evil character and learn two players who are not this character. Alright, cool. So let's do minion and demon in fact. Nora in here. Hello. Hello, uh, Nora. You are the only minion, as you're probably already aware. Uh, it wasn't, but that's fine. Oh, yep. Now I am f actually fully read the whole thing. There we go. <laughs> yep. Okay, uh, your demon is Alan. Alright, cool, awesome. Okay, good Thank luck. Thank you. Hello. Uh, so, you're, you only have one minion, it's Resnora. Cool. Uh, yeah, and your bluffs are... Do you, are you familiar with Red Dwarf characters? I've watched like all of Red Dwarf, but all in one go, and then I got myself really sick of it and stopped watching it. So, <laughs> okay. um, yes well, and no. <laughs> you'll probably be familiar with Lister. Yeah, no, that one. One of your bluffs. Uh, you might be familiar with Dwayne Dibley. It rings a bell. And your last bluff is Suitcase. Okay. <laughs> because that is a character. In one episode, there is a sentient suitcase. Cool. Okay. Right. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Ellen. <laughs> Okay, uh, so first up we need to go to Confidence. Confidence is going to choose clockwise or anti-clockwise, and that's going to make either Malashan sober or JC sober, because right now they're both poisoned by paranoia. Hello. Hello, I'm just going to give chat a link to this Armanac. Someone can do something Go through this. Okay. Chat, here is the almanac. Someone copy that. Oh, no, I can't type in this chat. Crap. Here is the almanac. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, right, patters. Hello. Clockwise, which is towards Ellen, or anti clockwise, which was JC. I'll go. Clockwise towards Ellen, please. Okay, clockwise it is. Thank you. No worries. Cool. So that means JC's poisoned by paranoia. Uh, but Malashan is sober. Malashan's gonna get correct info. Okay. Uh, up next we've got JC with Kachansky, and I'm gonna give JC. So JC is poisoned. Um, so he's going to learn three characters and at least one of them is a demon bluff. So I'm I'm going to give him three characters that are in play that aren't demon. Hello. Hello. Here are three characters, at least one of which is a demon bluff. Vending machine. <laughs> I love this script. Go on. <laughs> Talky toaster. Yeah. Holly. Oh, beautiful. What a wonderful collection of three people. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, enjoy. Cheers, Ben. Bye. Okay, right. Up next uh, is Vending Machine. So, Ekin is gonna... Well, we'll get in here. <laughs> Hello, Ekin. You're muted. Hello, sorry. Hello. Hello. So, Akin, as I've no doubt you're uh, massively uh, up on the old Red Dwarf lore, uh, do you <laughs> pick, pick an evil player and I'll tell you two people who are not this character. Um, so, I've t 
thought about this a little bit, and uh, meta-ing you, since we have it base 1 outsiders, I thought you might have put in a Vindaloo beast to add outsiders. I think you did that, or put like a couple of Duane Dibblies, but I can't do anything about Duane Dibblies, so I'm gonna pick Vindaloo beast, please. Okay, you choose Vindaloo beast, and you learn that Lyra and George are not the Vindaloo beast. Alright, thank you. Alright, thanks. Okay, now we're over to Crichton, uh, who's going to learn if either of his living neighbours are drunk or poisoned, and he's going to learn that neither of them are drunk. Probably going to continue to learn most of the game. Hello, Crichton. Hello. Uh, you learn if either of your living neighbours are either drunk or poisoned, so... If this was being run in person, because good players cause drunkenness, if it was drunk, I'd give a thumbs up. If it was poison, because evil players cause poison, I'd give a thumbs down. Or I'd just uh, give a zero. And you learn okay. a zero. Neither of your living neighbors are drunk or poisoned. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. That is the entire night phase. Now, this is probably, I mean, this is definitely not a good script. I've run this a grand total. I think this is my third time ever running it. Uh, so it's probably going to be janky. It might not work. It might end early. It might make no sense. But we are going to learn some things about it. And then we can iterate and make it a bit better. And I'm kind of hoping that I can periodically bring this back onto stream. And maybe even have a kind of series where we iterate on it. Maybe once a month or something. So we've got a functioning script. So if this is on YouTube, if you're if you're watching this in three years time on YouTube and there's 15 videos all with the script in, welcome to the beginning of that journey. Good there's morning, everybody. Set. It's yeah. cold outside. There's no kind of atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I'm all alone because I died in the night. Da -da 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 -da. Bum. Okay, everybody, go. And the half of you have no idea what the fuck any of that That's not how right. <laughs> oh. How to begin the game, other than how to say, how do do de do <laughs> Oh, How de do de do JC. How de do de do reckon. Let's talk. Yeah, go on. Right. Someone talk to me. For the love of God, someone talk to me. Let's, let's go. Let's do the thing. Okay, I'm just going to put H's for howdy doodly do because I can't. Uh, three way chat? Token. Yeah, I'm on the suitcase. You're the suitcase. On your first night select player, if you nominate and execute them while they are alive, that night you learn an evil player's neighbour. So I'll tell you that my person is Brendan, so if you can basically keep me sober if I manage to get Brendan killed. Uh, Brendan. Okay, so you need to nominate Brendan every time. Nominate and execute, so as long as. That night you learn. It just basically just happens once. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, what? Why? Well, why don't I choose you if Brendan? Yeah, if if I get Brendan killed. Yeah. Choose so me. I'll, I'll I'll choose the other way until then. Yeah, sounds good. All right, wicked. Thanks. I learned the suitcase, the talky toaster, and Holly. Mm -hmm. Suitcase, talky toaster, and uh, Holly are. Not so. One of them is a demon bluff. Um, okay. At least, at least one. At least one is a demon bluff. It could be more than one as a demon bluff. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you chose an evil player, oh, an evil character, and learned two players who are not. Mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So I've met a Ben a little bit since we have it base one outsiders. I thought he might put in a Vindaloo beast. So nice. I chose uh, Vindaloo Beast, and I learned two people. Uh, I'm going to keep that to myself just to keep Nice selector now. player. They die. Two good players are poisoned, but register as drunk and cannot die. All of you. Right, yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we actually have a Vindaloo Beast. I'm probably going to choose a minion just for funsies next time. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> It's a pretty okay. good professor. You have yeah. to die to activate it, but you're pretty much confirmed. Yeah. That's professor doesn't have to die, I guess. That's why it's a bad professor. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose. Um, cat. Well, uh, we may be as if they cannot die, but you're the Oh, that's cool. 
Um, well, I guess it's either. it's a it's a better professor in a sense because the evil team really can't stop you using your ability unless you're executed. It's true, yeah. Either way, um, yeah. I, I haven't. Well, <laughs> fine. I'm an ace trimmer. I've cool. been thinking about it a lot. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, All right. Cheers. Bye. Thank you very much. Um, I'm probably just doing straight claims to be honest because. I can't keep track of yep, that's fair. what these things are. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I will give you Holly. <laughs> Everyone's giving me Holly. <laughs> so really? you want Holly. Uh, well, then instead of Holly, I will give you Scudder. We'll just swap. Okay, cool. Have you heard of any other Scudders? Uh, I have. Fair. Uh, cool. Sounds good. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, I'm just going to periodically drop a link to the uh, almanac in chat for those who want to have it up while you're watching this. One stuff, um, obviously. But... Uh, if confidence is alive, both of their living neighboring, living townsfolk neighbors are poisoned. Oh fuck! <laughs> if it's paranoia, your information is bad. Okay, probably. Cool. So I did not pick that direction. <laughs> ah, well. I mean, that's um, knowledge as well, isn't it? I suppose. Um, uh, yeah. I'm, well, I'm never going to pick um, anti-clockwise then, because you will never get any more information. Yeah, yeah, completely pointless now. All right, wicked. Well, there you go. Cool. Uh, Can I just say, Ben, I like how this script is actually quite an interesting one in that some of the demons make you really need to know the outside account, but then you've got uh, Dwayne Dibley, who really wants to hide the outside account, like yeah, for, yeah. for homebrew nonsense. There's a lot going on here. I like yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I have the immense, unfair um, head start of having been playing Clock Tower since before it came <laughs> out, getting to have regular conversations with the game's designer, and getting to see the <laughs> l l loads of characters that he's created that are not yet out that can I can draw inspiration from. One of the things I really wanted to do with this is make have a character that makes a distinction between drunkenness and poisoning because they are technically indicative of good and evil mm. and I think that's an unexplored region of Crockton. Nice. Very cool. Alright. Cheers Ben. Cheers JC. Bye bye. Yeah, cheers. I've probably been doing that in town square. I don't know how because <laughs> it might be yeah. a nightmare to track but I'm just relieved it's not me frankly. So. Yeah fair enough. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Uh, yeah Thank good you. luck. You too. Um, because if you're a demon you have to get me executed. Oh, nice! Uh, I am Creighton. I learn if my neighbours are drunk or poisoned. They currently are not, as far as I'm aware. Uh, Where's that? Uh, it's like uh, Fifth and Oh, list. yep, got it. Your oh, that is fun. Rimmer and you die by execution, and a live good player becomes Rimmer tonight. Oh, nice, cool. So you're like not, a, a weird. I'm, I'm Ace Rimmer. Ace Rimmer. I'm the third. Oh, the top. other one. If you yes. die at night, select player to one there. Oh, cool. So if like it doesn't, so the, if they kill me, I confirm myself, and if they don't, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm alive. And good. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. Uh, I wish you the best of luck in getting murdered. Then. Thank you. Alrighty, cheers. It's, uh, unspeakable one because I figured let's find out who we can nominate safely. And, yeah. And I've got Ryan and Lyra. So, if you ever want to murder either of those two people, fill your boots. It's safe to nominate. I'm right. Sounds good. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Great luck with dying at night. With you all Thank the rest. You right? Yep. <laughs> all right. Cool. Thank Cheers. you. I am just loving how many Red Dwarf quotes are, are in Sorry. chat right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a delight. As a huge Red Dwarf fan, this is absolutely delightful. Uh, if you have not seen Red Dwarf before in chat and you're planning on checking it out, I would highly recommend you probably start on Season 3 or even 4, uh, because that's when it gets really, really good. Right and joy. Did okay, you read the um, book we have hands up. I assume there are people wanting to say howdy doodly do. Uh... So, Brendan? Uh, 
I mean, I will, I will say howdy doodly do. I did not realize, I did not read that part of the script. <laughs> but, um, I, I, so I will gladly say howdy doodly do. I will also say, uh, unless we have a Vindaloo beast, I should be the only outsider in this game because I am a non Dwayne Dibley outsider. Oh, cool. Okay, cat. I mean, Iris. Yeah, I'm a different person. Yeah, uh, howdy doodly do. Thank you, thank you, Iris. Uh, howdy doodly do. I think that was a bit unclear. I think you need to doobly retake doobly that doobly one, Iris. Howdy doodly do. <laughs> okay, Ellen. Howdy doodly do. Uh, Malishan. Howdy doodly do. Nice, Resnora. <laughs> howdy doodly do. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, do we have any... JC, do you still want to say something? Uh, yeah, bibbidi-bobbidi-boo. Thank you. Um, <laughs> this okay. is evil. I don't think that counts. So, uh, do we have any nominations or anything of the kind? Lyra will nominate JC. Lyra nominates JC. Tell us why. Yeah, it worked so well at the start of the last game. I'm fucking YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, JC. Yeah, Let's at least ask someone who's at least going to give us a slightly more intelligent opinion. Hello, Wall, what do you think? <laughs> oh, that's a reference. <laughs> if, if, people keep, if people keep quoting Rimmer, then chat are just going to think you're an absolute asshole. <laughs> okay, six is the number required. Chat isn't always wrong. This is good. Just mostly. <laughs> Someone in chat after that howdy doodly do. What's going on? Yes. All right. That was not enough, guys. We're looking for six. Any other nominations? I nominate Brendan. Ellen nominates Brendan. Tell us why. I don't really know what know the script well enough to um know how to pretend there's different information but i've heard something that says that this might be quite a useful thing to do today okay brendan uh as a matter of fact this is quite possibly the least useful execution on the script okay six is the number required i think this is a good execution i'm sorry to ask but what is this in reference to oh this is um this is a uh, full metal alchemist Can we get this one is more? bad for town oh well, Fine, you're not voting on yourself then, right? So. Yeah, five's not enough. Uh, Iris nominates George. Iris nominates George. Tell us why. Well, this is one of the people who didn't say how do you doodly do, and also I haven't gotten a claim from, so they must be evil. Okay, George. Do you want uh, to say yeah, how do you doodly do? No, I explicitly don't, because there isn't a Vortox in this script, so if everyone says it, nobody learns anything. Uh, so I'm maintaining a useful control group by not saying the thing. Uh, I get information and would like to keep getting information. Okay, six is the number. Likely story, George. Oh, four's not enough. Is this all it takes? An unfamiliar script to make you veterans cagey? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll nominate Ellen. Ekin, tell us why you've nominated Ellen. The s suggesting to kill our one public outsider feels like an evil thing to do. Um, I think Ellen might be evil. Ellen? Um, there is some kind of... There, there's a reason why killing Brandon in particular would be quite useful um, for a piece of information. I've, I've mentioned this to one person, but yeah, it, I, I'm not the worst one to die, to be honest. Okay, six is the number. I'll be honest, I'm only doing this because I believe Ekid knows what he's doing, and I might be wrong. I kind of want to kill Ekid more than I want to kill Ellen. No, but Ekid, is re Ekid has played the script. He's our veteran. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, you so have a good Yeah, I, can, I have. Can yes. Be helpful oh, while dead. JC wow. nominates Akin. Oh, come JC on. JC nominates Akin. <laughs> oh, I. I mean, 
Uh, he's played it before he's got an unfair advantage. Um, <laughs> and also, of the claims I received today, I feel like he is arguably the most expendable. I can. Really? I, I gave you my true role and I like mostly lie to everybody else although i think i talked to iris only after you um i am good um i'm uh, very good to keep around um and i don't know why ryan thinks i am a good execution but i'm not so still looking for sex i don't know what you are uh i haven't spoken to you but i didn't like the norm on ellen that felt a little evil well, Ellen's nomination on Brendan felt a little evil to I, me. I, I, I agree with Oh, Beckett come there. on. <laughs> it looked like cover. Mm. Like, Six as a good person trying to say... On the a good person would say that, but that felt like an evil You're person. You're just joining us now. Yeah. This is officially the release of Midnight on the House of the Dead. Oh, nominate Iris. Okay, Patters nominates Iris. Tell us why. Um, I, I think... Uh, Ekin had the right, the right idea of being suspicious of Ellen's nomination. I do, however, think Ellen and Ekin are both good. Um, Iris nominated somebody who didn't say the thing, um, and I don't think that necessarily makes someone evil. So I think it just felt like an easy way out. Iris. I mean, I just nominated the person at the top of the grim because I wanted to. <laughs> That's really all the logic there was. I like nominating. Nominating is good. And don't take away my democratic power patterns. <laughs> Seven to execute and take away Iris's democratic Can power. Tie it. I'm, I'm really useful. Iris is and good. I'm not actually evil. Tie it. Tie it. Brendan, Rez, please. Tyra, I no. can't believe you betrayed I me. Like I, this. Ah, I actually did mean to tie, but I was in the text box. <laughs> uh, you couldn't have tied it anyway. Well, it's not I, hit, yeah. I, hit, I hit space bar. <laughs> Any other nomination? Okay. Tie it off somebody else. Uh, cool, cool nominate Lyra. George nominates Lyra for our seventh nomination of day one. George, tell us why. Yeah, seven out of eleven feels about the time when we hit the demon by accident. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> It'll have to do. Okay, Ly no. Lyra. You're You'll definitely hit the demon by accident. Okay, seven to hit the demon by accident. Six to tie. I don't think Ekin is evil though. Um, Ekin no. just went. Why, it was weird that we. Uh, is this going to tie? Why are we lifting? No. Why are we lifting? Because I don't think I don't think Ekin is evil. I'm tying it. So. Six oh. is a tie. Mm, interesting. Nobody on the block. Ryan. Ekin, Ekin, Ekin nominated somebody who nominated our one outed outsider. That I agree with reason. That. Yeah. I, I, I look. You're, you're, I agree. With that. I think that was evil trying to sound good. That's uh, what I can. Can we nominate Ryan then? <laughs> Brendan nominates Ryan. Okay, Brendan, tell us why you have nominated Ryan. I think I, it just feels like Ryan is trying to being trying to use their normal vocality to try and kind of like run the town. I don't like it. Let's kill him. <laughs> uh, I am good. So is Brendan. So is Ellen. So is Iris. Probably so is Lyra. I'm looking at Ekin Patters right now being okay. evil because Patters is defending Ekin. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll just say it felt evil that Ekin nominated in that way. It felt like cover. Like an evil person trying to cover looking good. That's it. I think Brendan shouldn't have been nominated because Brendan and Ellen are both good. That's it. I'm good. Don't kill me. Don't kill you. Are you sure, Ryan? That does mean changing yeah. the bulb. Seven to go. I, 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 I feel like Ryan is accusing Ekin of doing what Ryan is doing right now. I, I agree. <laughs> Can we get seven? We will. No, seven. let's not. Is this the point of the day where we hit the demon by accident? Seven is enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think we hit the demon by was, deliberate on the fifth that was nomination. A previous nomination. Any other nominations? I think three nominations ago we hit the demon deliberately. You think Ekin is? You think Ekin's the demon? I think I'm Ekin is the most likely demon on the circle right now. That is surprising. That was definitely a lift. I mean, Evil wanted to lift that. It's unfortunate that Good also voted for it. Um, I, we just we just have really big different well, social groups of Ekin's choice. Ryan nominates Patters. Tell us why. Might be good, but is really defending uh, Ekin? Eh, I'd say let's tie it then, if you want. Uh, but I'm good. That's it. Patters? There is absolutely no reason to tie. 
Um, I am defending Ekin because Ekin did something which in any other game of Clock Tower would be a completely normal thing to do. Um, I understand why Ellen did what they did. I understand why Brendan doesn't want to be executed. Um, uh, and I think Ekin is good. I think, Ryan, you are reading too much into what was a completely normal social interaction that Ekin did. Here we go. Is Pat as a small off-duty Czechoslovakian traffic warden? I also no. think if Ekin was the demon, um, Ekin had no reason to, like... I think Ekin would be possibly a minion there. Could be demon. I think even if Ekin is demon, he was very helpful to me personally, so I don't want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. We only have two nominations that can be made on day one. Oh my god. <laughs> this nine is, like, bigger than we get for some entire games. Malachan yeah. nominates Malachan. Oh my god. <laughs> Malachan, tell us you why you've nominated out. yourself. I was feeling left out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eight to execute, seven to tie. Uh, Ryan, if you told me what you are, I believe there are... I, 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 I would not worry about it, would be my advice. I'm not that. Oh, well then, shit, you lied to me. You should die. <laughs> you I, I can't support that person. Five's not enough. Any other nominations? I think I could nominate themselves. Resnora, not gonna! Like this has gone on long enough and I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> in that case, Ryan is executed and dies. And it once again becomes cold outside. Well, Talkie Toast is dead, so we don't need any of these howdy doodly doos anymore. So we can those. Alright, night two. First of all, is Hollister dead? Hollister is not dead. Cat. Uh. Hello, Iris. Hello. Did that you notice was, my uh... Freudian slip earlier on? Yep. Yep, I tried to course correct immediately. I hope nobody heard it. I don't think anybody did. I think everyone just thinks no, I'm fine. a rampant misogynist who thinks all women have the same name, which yeah, is preferable. Yeah. Uh, so, Iris, choose one of your living neighbours. Uh, one okay. of them... Yeah, you've, you've read your ability. I haven't. Uh... Okay, well, let's go I'm through gonna, it um, Each night, yes. one of your living neighbours. They cannot die, but your other living neighbour, if good, is drunk until dusk. Amazing. Okay, so I've talked to my neighbors, and I think JC is first night infill, so I'm going to pick Resonora. Okay. Nora cannot. Cool, thank you. Alright, thanks. Okay, so that cannot die just lasts until. Probably not going to really have a great effect, I don't think. See if Resnora's actually back from the bathroom. Probably not. I need Resnora. Carry on the night. That's alright. Welcome back. Hello, thank you. <laughs> do you want to use your ability tonight? Yes, I do. Wait, wait. <sighs> So oh wait, I can use it every night. Yeah, what's interesting is if this was a three minion game, you could keep changing the same minion into different minions over and over again until you finally decide you want to make your third minion, but it's not. So it's uh, either use it or lose it. You can, of course, turn yourself into another minion, but then you would be one minion down. Um... Uh... Oh, shit, because, like... Um. You can leave it another night if you want, Resnor. You don't have to make this call. No, now. I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, choose to make George the Queeg 500. Okay, George into Queeg 500. Thank. You. Thank you. That is really bad. That's, that's the worst choice <laughs> because. The First time an evil player selects you tonight, they are instead drunk until dusk. <laughs> that's that's really unfortunate. Oh no! 
Well, I should probably put that JC is now both drunk and poisoned. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, that's what playtesting's for, kids. Uh, I don't know if this is a broken interaction or not. Hello. Hello. Who do you want to kill, Ellen? Um, I think I'm going to kill Malachan. Thank you. Thank you. Good choice. Uh, so, does the oh, both of confidence living neighbors, answering me, poison. So uh, that means that now the poison goes all the way over Ekin. Do now select which of which way confidence cause sobriety, which is interesting because it could remove the drunkenness that Iris has put in. Hello. Hello. Clockwise, uh, please. You would like to go clockwise. Okay, clockwise it is. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so... Ekin is confident. That means that JC is both drunk and poisoned by paranoia. <laughs> poisoned by paranoia and drunk by cat. This is a Red Dwarf script, Princess Prissy Pants. <laughs> Welcome. This is yeah. We've uh, we've partnered with uh, with Doug Naylor. No, that's not true. Uh, this is my janky homebrew. Um, okay, we are now over to Ekin the vending machine. Hello. Hello, Ekin. Please select an evil character. Um. So last game I played this, uh, I think Quig Five Hundred had messed with me a lot because there was a swap it's kind of like a barber i guess so i'm gonna choose quick 500 and i think that'll be helpful okay quick 500 and you learn that resnora and jc are not quick 500 all right thank you all right thanks okay this could be a disastrous uh <laughs> day for the evil team because uh, Resnora, who's playing as Mr. Flibble, has chosen to turn George into Week 500 to create the third and final member of the evil team. But unfortunately for Resnora, George is Holly. And the first time an evil player selects them in the night, they are instead drunk until dusk. So uh, George has not turned evil. And looking at the... Uh... Oh, God. Looking at the conversations between George and Resnora, this is probably not going to go well. Uh, let's wake everybody up. Good morning. I was going to say Ravenswood Bluff, but I should probably say, Good morning, Red Dwarf. Malachan died in the night. No, not a doodler. Is that a good or a bad thing for us, Malachan? It's mediocre. I'm not particularly useful. Okay. Uh, Brendan. Yes. Oh, George, can we talk? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Hang on, rest, sorry. Oh, yeah, not too bad. How are you? I'm good. Um, so, I fought to stay alive because um, I am the... Um, vending machine. Um, I select characters, evil characters specifically, and I learn two players that are not this character. Um, I will say on night one I selected a demon and uh, learned you. You're not the demon that I selected. Um, so I think there is like some kind of reason why I think I might be able to trust you. At least I don't know a whole lot um, else to go off of, so I wanted to talk to you. Yeah, uh, that level of trust may be somewhat mitigated by the fact that I've claimed vending machine to everyone I've spoken to so far. Okay, but, no. why did you do that? <laughs> um, well, uh, hmm, can I trust you? 
I guess. If it's not in play, then it's fine. Uh, I'm Holly. I'm trying to draw kills. Okay. Each time, night, the first time an evil player selects you tonight, they are instead drunk until dusk. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, so like um, the kill, that's really, really big. Yeah, um, you can keep claiming um, vending machine if you want. I, I have so far much. only claimed to JC. Um, I think I gave a cat, um, sorry, Iris, uh, who gave me cat, um, Holly, or Jesus. Um, back to evils, which were not vending machine, but I did tell her that I had um, multiple parts to my okay. name, like well, Pocket Toaster, Ace Rimmer, Dwayne Dibley. I could repurpose your your day one information for my night two, potentially. Who is the other person you saw with me? Um, Why not? Uh, Lyra. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So I can just say, I'll pick a demon and just be like, it's not you or Lyra. And then that's yeah. sort of a sim thing. Um, yeah, yeah. I, ga I gave out unspeakable one pings yesterday, so I'll just keep I'll keep on them for now. All right. I just want to say, guys, that it's very very rare that you can open a conversation with the statement "I am the vending machine." And <laughs> <take> it, seriously, <laughs> it is it is very much the 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 trouble viewingest role on the script, <laughs> and I, it makes me happy. Uh, it's a fun. Fun name, fun one for sure. Uh, are slim, so you can keep protecting me. It's fine. Hey, 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 Ben. We have a question about your lovely script. Go for it. Hopefully, I know um, the answer. If I am cat and I'm protecting my neighbors, and Resnora is Jesus, which is a phrase I have to say, um, <laughs> and Resnora the Jesus is drunk when they die, does that impact their ability? So if you're if you are the cat then your living neighbors can't die. Uh, yeah, you select one of your living neighbors and yeah. they can't die. So, oh, so, so you're if asking I if- you, Oh, I see what you're asking. You're asking if you make if Resnora drunk, drunk, will that stop Resnora's ability from working? Uh, yeah. yes. Yes, it will. It's drunk at the time of death. Oh my god, Res, I've completely fucked you. Gotta go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Captain Hollister, if you died today, um, is that more like a moon child? Like, if you learn that you died today? Or yeah, it is looks it basically... back from the night phase, so if you if you died today, then they wo they're, you're woken at night, basically. I should I should reword this. So Hollister works like this. Hollister dies at night, uh, I'll then wake up Hollister and say, choose a player. Oh, so only if they're executed, basically. Yeah, unless they're killed by some other means, which... Oh, I don't think is in this script, but it might be eventually. So I just future proofed it. Fair I enough. Could, I probably right. need to word that better. I should be taking That's notes here, fine. shouldn't I? That's fine. All right, cool. That means uh, Brendan is more in the correct line of thinking. All right. All right. Thank you. Do we think Resnor is realizing that she hasn't turned George into a minion? Yeah. No, that's really good to know. All right. So you have been just openly claiming Harley. Um... You're not trying to draw evil targeting by, you know, claiming something else. I'm going for the double bluff. Fair enough. Bring it on. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, cool. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Foxy, I didn't get to talk to the one person I wanted to talk to tonight. All right. Welcome back, little fishies. Today's fish is Trout a la Creme. Nominations are open. Brendan, your yes. your line of thinking. I was think I was I was okay. pretty sure. <clears throat> well, Ellen, that sucks to be you. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you picked the wrong person. I'm sorry. Ellen, what did you do? <laughs> no, it's fine. I um. I mean, it's yeah, it, fine. it's it's. I mean, uh, so basically, can, can we basically just out all this and then, or yeah, sure. Do we want to out or, or at least part of it? Uh, I, I'm, I'm God. happy to say what I am. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm with it being out. So, so Ellen is the suitcase who picked me on night one. Uh, so, if I am executed by Ellen's nomination, then Ellen learns an evil player's neighbor. Oh. So, but but we'll then watch. then unless I ex unless I expressly pick a good player, I create a new evil player by being ca the Captain Hollister. And Patters is 
reading good, but I can't read Patters, and Patters could just be an evil player getting me to pick him so that I <laughs> create a new evil player. Is I mean, my is your my worry. ability, Brendan, doesn't specify living player. Yeah. So you yeah, can always just choose him. Malishan because it's very unlikely yeah. evil would kill one of their own. That's fair. Yeah, that's true. I even think Ryan is most likely good. Ryan's is most likely good. Even though even though I don't trust his read. <laughs> um, it's yeah. also worth saying, no, I'm, 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 I've lied to most people, I'm confident it's probably a paranoia game. So if I die, um, my neighbours will be poisoned forever. Does anyone want to say howdy doodly do? Howdy doodly do. Yeah, howdy, howdy doodly, doodly do. do. Howdy doodly do. So that's Very free. well, thank you. Okay, uh, second call for nominations. If 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 it doesn't specify living play uh, living player, then I'm happy to go. So you can go back, back on plan. Is telling, if Travis <laughs> is telling the truth, Ellen is quite possibly drunk or poison. So no, I'm thing, picking yeah. clockwise. So Ellen is always sober and healthy. Yes. Uh, no, well, unless, if, I'm out of it now, so I'm probably going to die. So if if Patters is telling the truth, then then that's good. Then then Ellen will get sober information. But if I'm Patters talking about if it's good, a I'm talking about if it's a paranoia game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. paranoia will be. It, for no or it young. could be. So it could be confidence without a paranoia. It could be, yeah. So. Yeah, and just to clarify, Patters, it's if you die, then your neighbors aren't poisoned anymore. Uh, if confidence is alive, oh yeah, I guess not. Yeah. No, this is a win-win. So, yeah. plan Bring suitcase. It. Bring it. To yeah, so let's, I mean, I'm I'm not opposed to it. I nominate Brendan. Ellen nominates. Tell us why. Um, because it would be nice to have a power. <laughs> okay, Brendan. Let's do it, I'll be picking Malachan. Okay, five's the number. Yeah, that should probably be living player then, I think. Yeah, it probably should. I'll, on <laughs> I'll honor the word in as it is now. Uh, and well, change it later. It's a fun character though, I like the idea. Yeah, I think, I think this is not quite as terrible as I expected it to be, which is good. <laughs> five's enough. Brendan's about to die. Don't like this. I love that every uh, like five minutes someone jumps into chat and goes, Is this a red dwarf script? Yeah, um, uh, yeah ben, Ryan's probably. Sorry, right. can I also ask nominate a real quick? Absolutely. Who do you want nominated, Mel? Hi. Hello. Um so my cannot die happens at night or just as long as I'm active? What uh, when as can't as long die? as long as you're active. Okay, so if we tried to execute Resonora that Theoretically, would not happen. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Um. Iris and I are in it for the long haul. <laughs> okay. Uh, we nominations. know what we're doing. Don't worry about it. I don't know what that means. I'm good. We're good, Frez. We're good. I have to worry about yep. it, Iris. Five. I think the idea that Ellen's oh. going to die tonight is very likely. Yeah. Can we kill Lyra? I reckon. Two. Well. What? One. JC nominates Ekin. Ooh. Just in time. Tell us why, JC. Uh, looking for someone to kill. Care to volunteer? No, uh, but I don't want to kill Brendan either, so I will tie this. Okay. Six to execute, five to tie. I don't buy Ellen's claim. Feels like a bounty hunter um, thing that's actually being bluffed by evil. Ellen claimed to be the... Um suitcase pretty much in the first conversation with He's me nodding. and that they picked um, it brendan iris yeah. would like to nominate resnora iris tell us why you've nominated resnora um prove me good if you don't want to kill brendan prove that i'm good resnora cannot die as long as i live uh yolo let's fucking do this resnora yeah okay uh six to execute five to time what role is that iris I'm uh, cat. 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 Right. I think. I, mean, I think Ben. I think Ben might have don't accidentally spend dead at one point. What are you talking about, Brendan? Oh, Ryan. What? <laughs> don't think uh, about it. Oh wow. <laughs> Brian, you can't be surprised when you. I, I put my hand down. It, it, it lagged. I put Whatever. my hand down it's, super it's, early. So it's just. Fine. Oh, I'm it's so fine. sad we did that because if Ellen gets their information, it's really powerful. And then if Ellen dies, someone with ongoing information gets to continue to get their information. It's a win-win. I know, win. but. But that's if you trust Ellen, which I do. Some people <laughs> don't. I. It's not that I, I. I don't distrust Ellen. I'm. Oh. I'm just not sure about you, Patters. What, is, what does it matter about me? <laughs> because I don't know. Resnora is executed. 
and does not die. Everybody goes to sleep. Woo! Woo! If Iris is going to keep that going, that's going to be incredibly useful because if you're only just joining us, Res Nora did not have a good night last night. I'm going to get a chance to have another bash at it. Hollister's alive, so we go straight to that. Well, we're going to drag Jesus with us to the final three cooking and screaming. <laughs> So okay. we're going to pick we're going to pick to make Ms. Nora Jesus. more again. <laughs> At Jesus. Crime fine duo. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I assume by that then that you're going to choose Resnora again tonight. Yeah, I'm going to choose Resnora for as long unless I'm giving a reason not to. Cool. All right. Thank you, Iris. Thank you. All right, let's get Resnora in here. Hello. Hello, Resnora. Would you like to use your ability? <laughs> Yes, I think I need to. Um, I would just like... So, just so you're aware, Resnora, you should have only got one use of it, so you can reasonably assume that for some reason it didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Um, I'm gonna have to... Wait, who... Mm. Okay, I can't pick George, because I know exactly what George is now. Um, I can't wait to Well, Iris is confirmed good. So, assuming. <sighs> okay. Uh... Gonna have pressure for a choice here, Resnora. I'm going to make. Lyra, the unspeakable one. Okay, Ly okay thank you. Thank you. Her in. Hello, Lyra. Hello. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> yep, yeah, you are the unspeakable one. You are evil. Oh, my God. It's a febrile. Oh, no. Do I get... Oh, I get to act. Uh, your ability is passive. If a player nominates you, they're poisoned until dawn. Oh, excellent! Cool. Given the number of nominations being thrown around, I think you're probably going to have an impact. Yeah, Ryan was speaking about getting me nominated. <laughs> Fucking bring it on! Thank you so much, man. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, thanks, Laura. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the kill. Let's see what happens. Hello, Ellen. Hello. Who's it going to be? I should have paid more attention to my chat with Resnora at the beginning. Um, I I think I'm going to go for Iris. Okay. Actually, no, I changed her. I'm going to go for Patters. Okay. It is. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, that means that Ellen has killed... Paranoia has killed Confidence, so there is no longer a poisoning as, which is kind of a shame because it would have, would have done some damage. Don't wait, Patters. Our only other... Collection. Ping machine. Could it get in kind of wrecked here? Unsurprising though, given that most people are on for them. Hello, Ekin. Hello. Okay, who do you want to uh who, oh sorry, what character would you like to check out? Okay, with uh Paddles coming out as confidence, I was gonna go back to a demon just in case, so I'm gonna go to Paranoia and see what happens, just in case we end up trusting Pados, which is, you know, a call. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll see. Paranoia, okay. please. Uh, you learn that Lyra and Brendan are not paranoid. Lyra, Brendan, not paranoid. Okay, thank you. Alright, cool. Thanks, second. Okay. Do you know what? I think this is going pretty well. I, I need to reword Captain Hollister. Um, and... 
I think... Not sure whether the cat should be provable or if I should make a character that can mess with that provable. But other than that, this all seems to be functioning pretty well. I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. Um, okay, let's wake these guys. If there's a paranoia, okay. If there's a paranoia, okay. That has died in the night. Oh. Cool. Can we kill Brendan now, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I, kill I kill Brendan, but don't... Brendan. I'm gonna follow sorry. Ekin around while I go for a wee. I mean, sorry, that sounds weird. Chat's gonna follow <laughs> Ekin around while I go for a wee. I'm not just gonna piss all over you, Ekin, regardless of where you go. <laughs> okay. Sounds well, good. this conversation took a turn straight away, didn't it? I um, I, socially, I think I trust you. Um, okay. I had mechanical reasons not to do so out of the bat, uh, which is that I lied about which three roles I saw. Okay, um, you saw my old didn't I you? Saw I thought vending, you might have. Yeah, I saw vending machine, not suitcase. Okay. Um, and that's why I, I mean, was pushing on you. Um, hockey toaster. Um, and Holly was the last one? Yeah, vending machine, talkie toaster, and Holly. Okay. Uh, um, based on claims I heard, talkie toasty might be the demon bluff, and the evil team did, decided not to take it. Um, but I do have a Holly claim um, on board. Um... They are t bluffing vending machine and spreading around my information um, from at least, you know, day one, um, mm -hmm. night one, um, to look legit, but they might just be evil. Um, but they are part of my info. Um, I I'll just tell you. Um, uh, the per um, person is um, George and... Um, uh, night, my night one info was Vindaloo Beast, and uh, Lyra and George came up as not Vindaloo Beast. Okay. Um, could be different demon, um, but um, I went to Paranoia um, after Paddus coming out as uh, Confidence, and I learned uh, two other people who are still alive, so I'm not going to out it just in case. Yeah. Uh, but uh, one of them was also in my um, Vindaloo Beast information, so I'm willing to trust them because um, they came up twice as a not demon could be a minion but um, anyways um, in That's night nice. 2 I chose um, a minion um, and you came up as not that minion so Hooray. Uh, I mean you could be a different minion you could be the demon although if cat is drunking you then you cannot be the demon so I'm willing to trust you as well no, like night 1 cat. Uh, oh yeah, it doesn't specify. Oh no, yeah, if your other living neighbor, if good, is drunk. Ah, so I could absolutely. Be you could evil. absolutely be evil, um, yeah. but I'm I'm willing to trust you for now. So yeah. it's worth saying if it is paranoia, then my info is meaningless one way or the other, uh, because Patters chose clockwise on night one. Oh. Okay. So if we what I should have done, well, I fucked the evil team because what I realized after I changed you is that the smartest move would have just been to turn myself into the Quig 500 and then swap with Ellen, and then I would be the demon that can't die. Oh my god! Um, but I do that, that tonight then. I can't. I've already used my ability. There are enough minions now, so I can't do it. Oh no! Oh wait, because you include yourself in that, don't you? Yeah. Oh boo, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. I just I'm happy to have another evil player on the team. So. Yay! Who's who's the demon? From a playtesting perspective, this is brilliant, though. Oh god, yeah. we're so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, which is why I realized afterwards I was like, oh, the actual the smartest way to win this game would have been to use the ability that or change into the ability that lets me swap with Ellen. Oh, but I no. I was just so excited to get to make someone evil I didn't like I didn't that didn't occur to me until it was too late. Oh well rep <laughs> it's fine. I think it's very oh, you, like who they are. you even know who they are if you're the open to No, you, I guess not. You don't. You don't know who they are. So yeah, I wouldn't that requires know. some coordination that seems unlikely almost impossible. So I'm proven good, and if the demon doesn't kill me immediately, we know it's probably Inquisitor. <coughs> Welcome back, everyone. Oh, I have to have a look at Inquisitor. Would anyone like to say howdy doodly do or nominate anyone? Gosh darn it, howdy doodly do. George, there's the talkie toaster is still long dead. 
It's okay. <laughs> oh, in that case, oh. howdy doodly do. <laughs> Who was the talking howdy toaster? Howdy doodly do. A dead person. <laughs> Who was the talky toaster? What a sentence. I... Oh, wow. Inquisitor is weird. Okay. I think yeah. it is... I think people have made a good argument here that um, it's unlikely to be Vindaloo Beast because of the way the nomination between Iris and Resnora went off, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, it's unlikely to be Paranoia because why do I die as confidence? It's just... It's losing their half of their ability, basically. Um, so Inquisitor seems very likely. Yeah. Um, so for the idiots in the back, what about the Iris Resnora nomination makes it less likely to be Vindaloo Beast? Because the Vindaloo Beast know doesn't know. Is. They don't know who is immortal or who can't die by execution. Right, okay. I would I would be gambling on I'm the Vindaloo Beast and Resnora is my person, and, and I have, have no to, way of knowing. You'd have to hope that... like, You'd have to have heard what Resnora's information, if they get any, is, and th- realise yeah. it was poison. Can I... Uh, ben, I'd have to answer the question for him. Um, in the Vindaloo Beast, where it says all of you can only die by execution if nominated by you or them, uh, what does oh. what, what, what does the you mean? Who, so, who is the you? So basically, in a Vindaloo Beast game, there are three players. Two of them uh, are good, and one of them is the demon. All of them can only die if one of those three nominates them. So it's so essentially a, it's, a, it's essentially a, a, a complicated it's an, it's a leech on LSD. Interesting, so, and 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 you and you you the Vindaloo Beast does not select who the two good players are. No, they're selected by the storyteller. Okay, so, so I that, can't so, be the Vindaloo Beast. So I, I literally Iris cannot is be. Most likely good. Yeah. So no, my, I'm a hundred percent good. I mean, it, it, it I is, can't it, be the Vindaloo Beast. It is beast. possible. It is technically possible that Iris is telling the truth and that Resnora is one of the three for the Vindaloo Beast. Oh, to these things. well, don't say that, Ben. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Yeah, I, w- I was going to say, our logic is only that Iris specifically can't be the Vindaloo Beast, right? It okay, so well, I can switch and we like, can test this yeah. instead. Well, yeah. Iris could be the Vindaloo Beast, Resnora yeah. could be the Vindaloo Beast. The, pretty much, yeah, that question's not answered yet. We're all Except for the people involved in it. I just wanted to make sure <laughs> I wasn't ruling it out, knowing it could still be a possibility. Well, I can't be the Vindaloo Beast with Resnora as my survivor, because then right. she would die when I nominated her. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So that's not. Cool. So but you, also, yeah. Yeah. I could just switch and make JC immortal. And what the fuck are they gonna do? What are you gonna do, demon? What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't planning on star passing anyway. It's fine. It's okay. Just... Aww, but that Second was the call. plan, JC. How do we feel about Pan's suitcase? <laughs> I, I still love it. I'm all for it. <laughs> I am growing less. I, th- it. <laughs> I think now that it looks more likely that we're in an Inquisitor game, I'm more happy to go for it because it probably doesn't end yeah. with Ellen just randomly dying immediately. Resnora nominates Brendan. No. <gasps> no. Okay. Oh. Wait. Did I, was it? Was it supposed to be <laughs> Ellen? Only, it, it, only, it only works with <laughs> Ellen oh, nominates. No. I'm so sorry, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, Resnora, do you have anything else to say in your... Uh, no, we absolutely I'm shouldn't sorry. do this now. I'm, I get overwhelmed with all these new characters and everything. It's so hard to keep track of everything. I am so sorry, Ellen. Please don't kill Brendan today. We can do Operation Suitcase tomorrow. Okay, Brendan. I am not sure about doing Operation Suitcase in general. Like, uh, I was talking to somebody today, and they're like, Ellen and myself are probably just good, and we should, not and probably confirmed that way too, so we should just make the demon deal with us. And not kill either of us. And kill other players that we think are evil. Okay. Or if you disagree with that. Well, I'll be straight up. I think the demon is Ekin, Lyra, or George. If, uh... I think that's true. Rules, rules question. If a non-suitcase nominates me and I'm executed, would I even be visited? What? Visitors. In in this scenario, Brendan, you're not the suitcase. Well, I'm sorry. If 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 the suitcase chosen player is nominated and executed by a non-suitcase, would I even be visited? Or I guess it doesn't matter if I'm visited or not. Uh, or would the suitcase? Never mind. I, the suitcase no, would be. I, I would suit, learn nothing. The suitcase has got. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little confused. Why would you be visited? No, 
because I'm the I'm the cap I'm yeah, the captain. You, you still will be I, I'm vi I'm visited anyway because that's yeah, yeah, my role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's, yeah. for, forget I said anything. I'm 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 mixing the characters together. Right. Okay. Any other nominations? <laughs> oh, 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 all at once. Uh, Iris nominates Ekin. All right. Tell us why, Iris. Well, he could be the demon, can't he? Ekin, could you be the demon? I am not the demon. Uh, here's what I think is happening. Um, we have a we have a Kachansky claim uh, who has seen my ro my role, um, Talkie Toaster, and one other role. I was told Talkie Toaster is dead. I am suspecting it to be Ryan. Um, I believe Talkie Toaster was a demon bluff. Ryan was defending Ellen a lot, so I do think Ryan and Ellen are evil together. Um, and, um, this may or may not be an Inquisitor game, but I have some information. Um, I'm good. Um, please don't vote on this. Okay. Wait, shoot. There it is. What? I mean... I think Evil's voting on this, but... Yeah, Evil's definitely voting on that. Is it not? <laughs> but Ekin could still be Evil in that case. JC nominates George. Lyra? I think JC was in there just before. JC, tell us why you've nominated. Uh, is claiming a role that is a uh, one that was seen by Kachansky. Um, I personally think that Unless we think the only uh, demon bluff in that selection is Ryan, who was lifted weirdly on day one and spent his dead vote, I'm inclined to think that George is the evil one. Um, and I don't have a good quote set up. Sorry. George? Uh, well, I already thought I was probably claiming one of Ekin's demon bluffs to try to draw a kill. And now that I know that I'm the third person in that Kukatsky ping, I definitely think that is true. Uh, I'm Holly. I was claiming washing machine for a couple of days to try to draw a kill because it's really valuable if that goes off. Uh, I'm comfortable with all three of me, Ekin and Ryan, being dead in whatever order you choose. Uh, I won't vote for myself. Okay, five to execute, four to ten. George, just as a PSA, washing machine is a trouble viewing character. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's what I've been thinking all all day. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> More or less the same thing. And five to... is enough. I have to say that I absolutely do love the vending machine token. It's so cute. <laughs> Brendan <laughs> nominates Lyra. Brendan, tell us why you've nominated Lyra. Uh, unless they have backed down, um, I believe they are on a hard double claim with the player that died on night two. Um, so potentially evil. Also, there was an interesting uh, situation on day two where anytime I was talking about who I would pick as Captain Hollister, it was Lyra who was trying to like move me away and put it on somebody else, uh, which just read uh, weirdly. Um, I, I'm, not I'm not reading too much into it, but it was strange. Okay, Lyra? Uh... The part about the Captain Hollister, uh, you mistook me for someone else because I was not talking about your pick at all. The only thing that I ever worried about was the Mr. Flippo and um, any that's of what I'm saying. picks. Yeah, but that's a logical thing to do with a minion, right? Like, I, whatever. If I'm not trusted, I'm not trusted. Um, I'm the Scutter. I don't really know how my ability works with how evil can't win but i would need to clarify that with ben i think i might actually be worth getting rid of because i don't think i actually do anything as far as i can tell um but whatever okay uh six to execute five to time uh, oh, no longer the double point so benefit of everyone, the way scott's work is quite simple if the evil team's win condition doesn't happen while they're still but, I, alive. but so if so the thing i was thinking and i'm just going to put this to town if it gets down to final three we execute not the demon it's me and the demon alive we just go to night and the demon just kills me and they win 
Uh, well, at that point, what? the good team, the good team would win. It would just Why? be an auto win for good, basically. Wait, because that's the way Ben designed the script. With that character, no, no, I, guess. I just I don't understand why that would why would it be a tie? No, why would it be why would it be? Is it? It would be a tie because there are two players left and the demon is still alive, but evil cannot win, so good wins. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I am just being stupid. In which case, no, it's yes, a pretty reasonable question, to be fair. Yeah. Sorry. If... It, no, that was just me being dumb. I'm actually. I'm, no, I'm, it's fine. No, right. I'm really glad you asked it because this is playtesting, people. That's what we're doing right now. <laughs> Okay, I, I now understand that I am valuable, don't kill me. I, I don't yeah. kill me. <laughs> I, I'm glad we found you a purpose in life. George yeah. will yeah. die in yeah. five. That's like self-actualization. Oh. I now realize that I am yeah. useful. And if it's an Inquisitor, we can't choose Two, when to kill me. Ay. One. George, you have been found guilty of being George. That is your crime. It is also your punishment. You die. <gasps> Okay, that's uh, th three days, 17 nominations. I think that might be a personal record for me. Uh, okay, Brendan is alive and also poisoned. So we go straight over to Pat. <clears throat> Hello. Well, I said I was dragging Jesus to the final three, and I am Resnora. Resnora it is, thank you. I think good team are, are struggling here. Let's get... Hello. Hello. Who do you want to kill? Oh, they're all such good people to pin as evil. Um, I think I'm going to go for Iris this time. Okay. Cheers, thank you. Thanks. Sensible choice, uh, I think. Uh, so that means we head over to Ekin, who's going to get some really good info. Oh. Hello. <laughs> um, let's complete the evil trio and demon trio and pick the Inquisitor, I guess. Uh, you choose Inquisitor and you learn Ellen Rasnora. Oh god. <laughs> That's annoying because. Ah! Uh, I thought Elam was a demon. Maybe the other demons. We'll see. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, if you're only just joining us, this we're about to go into day four of my janky Red Dwarf homebrew. Uh, uh, it's looking like evil have got this. They, they, the, yeah, they're all still alive. Wake them up. I'm afraid Iris crashed into an asteroid last night. No, my savior! Uh, I, I am your Lord and savior. Iris isn't Jesus. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Iris but I am with Norris Jesus. Jesus, basically. Can we... Wow, God complex much. I know! Iris I'm is sorry. my bodyguard! Is... So, we, we spoke on day two. And he comes to me like, hi, I've seen you as not a demon. And I'm like, well, this is awkward because I've been telling your character to everyone I spoke to. Um, and he immediately went into like, okay, let's give you some cover. I'm going to claim Dwayne Dibley and sell a, a Vindaloo Beast game. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just like, does that help anyone? I, it, most of the game, he struck me as somebody who's trying to deal with the fact that good have quite a lot of confirmation potentially on the cards um and is yeah trying to act quickly to prevent that from being set up i think for me it's been more how he's acted in terms of like he seemed genuinely sad when and like confused when i said that i didn't think his role was very good like it felt like he was actually that role I could be reading completely wrong, especially given it's like one AM. Yeah, sure. Like I'm saying, obviously, but yeah, I think I would be more comfortable if he were dead as well, because I absolutely feel like there's a good chance that I've just you know, claimed one of his bluffs to him. Obviously, the other problem, as I mentioned briefly yesterday, is that if the demon is a paranoia, then I've potentially just been shown three townsfolk. 
not impossible, but I mean, there is a very reasonable question of why you kill patters other than just the paranoia of it all. I mean, if the evil knows that I'm Kachansky at that point, because I claimed it to quite a few people, yeah. then they know Patters is just protecting Ellen and it makes no difference. Yeah. And it does sort of help push away from paranoia worlds. I don't know. It feels like Iris should have died earlier than they did, I think. Probably. So what? Yeah. So was it Patters died the night before Iris, after Iris had saved Rez. Yes, that's how it happened. Okay. Um, so for the living players, I think Brendan is confirmed by outside account. Yes. Um, I have been inclined to trust Ellen from quite early. I think it's probably just Lyra and then one of Ekin and JC. Yeah. Sad yeah. for Ellen. We almost we almost got Ellen her <laughs> ability. All right. Yeah, I think once she out once they outed everything, I don't think it was ever going to happen yeah. unless it's a. Uh, um... Well, we almost had it that day, and then we lifted it off Brendan. Um, I yeah. still don't really know why, but we did. <laughs> all right. Thanks I think much, it was, it was the only outsider claim, and we all just thought he was good, and no one. Yeah, had, but no, like we, we haven't thought about the someone next to an evil. It's like big info. Anyway. Yeah, but I just think we haven't thought about it. We didn't... Yeah, it's all right. Perfect. So, thank you. Going for a Kachansky bluffs and being the, um, what's the one that he could be? Um, JC could be, JC could be any of them because JC didn't come up in any of my information. Any, oh, any of your demon information, but he did come up yeah, in one he of the could, minions, right? He could, came up as not minion. Um, not so, Quick 500. Not Quick 500 specifically. He could be another minion, but. Okay. Um, so it could be, yeah. so it could be evil or any of the demons. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Based on the kills, I'm also... Susp I mean, I'm getting framed, obviously. Um, yeah, but... and I just don't... I don't trust Ryan's read from day one, which is just being tunneled on by yeah. uh, by him and a couple other people. But he doesn't yeah. have a vote anymore, so whatever. Uh, so, based on me not dying, I think I could be, like, an Inquisitor saved towards the end of the game to be framed, and mm. that's what's going on. Um, but, I don't know. Uh, so... So Ben, if I can ask this, um, the Inquisitor selects all players in order, and if the player that they picked is already dead, if so, if none died last night, then the next two die instead. Correct. Okay, so we haven't had any two death knights, so I feel like it's unlikely that we have an Inquisitor. Yeah, although it's not impossible, but it out, but it's it's. I mean, I feel evil like we, could I feel be. Like we have one by now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Evil could be playing around um, it somehow, but I'm not sure. It's just like, it, how, which one do we think it is? Is is the issue? I, and I'm. It's probably it's it's. I mean, with with Patters being in play, I think paranoia is more m the most likely option, just okay. based on that paired. It does. Uh, I think Vindaloo Beast is almost certainly out of the question. Right, and um, Reznor also didn't come up in any of my info. Uh, mm. mean, so she, demon it, info. So she could be anything. Yeah, she could be. She could she, be. She came up as not the Quick Five Hundred. Not the Quick Five Hundred. Let's go back. Okay. Like it would just be foolish to try to turn me because mm -hmm. I now immediately. Welcome done. back, everyone. How do people feel about suitcases? No one nominate Brendan, please. <laughs> so <laughs> tempting. You can't tell me <laughs> what to do. I want. I. I this am on team suitcase. This, this would have it safe. I would, I would say it's not even safe now. Brendan's like, like the only person I Brendan, think is, it is yeah, good here. You can just yeah. pick me, Brendan. I'm not, I'm not even saying I'm not even saying about that. I'm just saying like we're we're we could be ha we could still have three evil players alive, and th in that case, we shouldn't be conf somebody killing somebody who is almost certainly good. Yeah, I think that's the mm -hmm. downside to doing it now. Yesterday was the day to do it. I know, I'm, I'm... and I'm very sorry that you that you had the misfortune of picking the only outsider. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Ekin, are you an outsider? No, I'm not. I have okay. been bluffing outsider, uh, but I'm not. Um, JC sort of outed my role um, yesterday during Town Square. Um, oh. I can out it. Um, at least my role, I'm the vending machine. I have a bunch of information which might come in handy. I have Ooh. shared it, the whole thing with Brandon uh, because I trust him as the only outsider I claim. And I don't remember most of it. <laughs> well, I mean, I can. I know. I'd, I'd, love, I'd love to, to hear it. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. 
Why uh, did you lie to me? Because I did not want to die, um, and I <laughs> didn't know if you were good or not by that by the time we talked. So um, I told JC my role first thing, um, oh. and Can now I them. told Brendan. Yeah. No one's going for anyone else. I'm gonna do the Brendan thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen will default to Brendan. I, I, I really like Brendan. to not. We've okay. all Ellen, had all that. Ellen, that. Brendan, um, tell us why, Ellen. No one was doing any nominating. Plan suitcase. <laughs> Brendan. No, thank you. <laughs> Solid. Solid. Okay. Uh, three is the number required. Pat, is Brendan is just good. Oh, uh, I'm not voting. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay. What oh, was we should, that? Oh, we should kill Lyra then. <laughs> we absolutely. Yeah. I want Ellen to have fun. The rest of us. <laughs> Reason off. Random I feel like no one who's said the words "plan suitcase" this many times can't have had fun anyway. <laughs> I, I've had a lot of fun. Lyra. Brendan nominates Lyra. Tell us why, Brendan. Uh, putting me on the block with, uh, being, like, the, probably the only player that can be 100%, almost 100% sure is good, is just very sus. Lyra? I just want to live, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Four to execute, three. Right, I will now save my go through. Yeah, for the sake of the people with ghost phones, I will vote against Plan Suitcase, but I'm not really happy about it. You're, I, I appreciate your sacrifice. It is a sensible thing to do. Evil definitely voted on that. <laughs> Evil like suitcases. Any other nominations? Lyra's on the black, right? That was Evil, four. Evil is, Evil is going oh, to yes, have to kill right. me Sorry, and yeah. or... Yeah. Evil is going to have to kill me and Ella, uh, Ellen in order to... Because, I, I mean, I am... Basically confirmed. Ellen yeah. is just socially very good. <laughs> they can't win if I'm I, one. I don't. I disagree that Ellen is socially very good. I can absolutely see you her as evil me. doing this for the bit. Lyra Fair. nominates Rez. Yeah, I can see that to be honest. Lyra yeah. nominates Rez. Tell us why. I would like a chance for our one and true god to come back and be <laughs> in restorative glory at the end of the game. No. All right. It only works if I die at night. If you oh, kill me, I can't get back. <laughs> I can't read, okay? <laughs> I, I, now, I now have a token to put down on res. Oh, that some yes, areas of Scotland are quite deprived, Jesus. but I didn't know it was that bad. I'm Jesus. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> if one's not enough. Lyra ben, I have, a, I have a question. Go for it. Um, oh, it's not relevant because we have six alive. Continue. <laughs> okay. Follow me in five. Is there anyone else we think might actually be evil? Ekin. JC is... I'm not evil. I, I think I trust Ekin. I'm not sure about JC. One Resnora the... nominates Ekin. Oh, ho, ho. Resnora nominates Ekin. Tell us why. I just want to give... Because we've lifted it off Ekin a few times, and that never sits well with me. <laughs> um... JC's information makes it seem like somebody has to be one of the three the people between Ekin, Ryan, and George has to be evil. Um, and Ekin's is the only one still alive, so it's, there's a chance Ekin's just evil. Ekin? I'm not evil. Uh, I'm just good. Um, this feels like a panic? Question mark? I, I don't know. Um, if you were gonna kill me in final three, kill me here. But I'm I'm just good. I'm not gonna argue for my own execution. Um, I mean, to be honest, I'd rather tie it. Okay, <laughs> five to execute, four to tie. Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Lyra is good or evil. But if Lyra you know is good, what? I don't want to kill Lyra. Oh God, I'm. I'm putting an evil Jesus token now on, on Res, which is... No, but like, you know, Lyra's, is, Lyra's ability, if Lyra's evil ability Jesus. is literally the evil team can't win, then we don't want to kill Lyra, right? I don't think Res yeah. is evil. Well, I don't uh, think uh, Oh, I, uh, the, it doesn't change color when I when I change it to evil. Three. Yeah, I need no, to make evil ones, too. I can't, I can't put down a red Jesus One. token. 
Lyra is executed and dies. But he goes to sleep. Oh. JC, so the reason I don't think it's paranoia is I think it would have more valued the evil team to have killed. Okay, I'm just going to use the cards for this. With hidden paranoia. Um, I mean, yeah, you don't I mean, kill patters there. I don't think you do if you it's have a, a 50, It's a 50-50 between yeah. uh, Inquisitor and paranoia, and I think paranoia becomes slightly more likely just because you're in play. Yeah. But the order of the kills is weird. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're, you're I... right. You're right. It very well could be. I mean, the just, paranoia... oh man, I just realized right. that the that the that the Inquisitor oh, has shit. to beat themselves too. <laughs> They're also the Inquisitor's the... doing it blind, like they don't even know what people are, which is really the Inquisitor harsh. probably should miss at some point, though. Right? Yeah, the fact the Inquisitor hasn't missed yeah. once is That's making me lean back towards power. Hello. Hello. Think. What do you this want? is. This is worrying me. Uh, it feels like Inquisitor because of how much I didn't die, but also any demon can just not kill me and frame me. Um, I'm also worried I got poisoned at some point, um, nominating, I don't know, the unspeakable one or something, or um, I don't know. Um, so I think it's not Vindalubis because we don't have enough outsiders. Um, so I'm between half and half between paranoia and inquisitor um <sighs> paranoia lyra brandon lyra's dead already so i think i want to cover the paranoia case just in case um because both of my inquisitor picks are alive if one of them dies it just narrows it down uh i'm gonna g go to paranoia again okay you choose paranoia and you learn yourself ac Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So a few things I'm just going to say before we go into this what probably good. Not quite final day. But um, a few thoughts I've had. I think first of all uh, this character should learn living players only. Otherwise the storyteller can make it quite useless uh, if they want to. Captain Hollister should have to choose living players, I think. Uh, it's not punitive at all, isn't it? it? Doesn't. And the unspeakable one, I think, is massively underpowered. I actually think its ability should be: if a player nominates you tonight, you may choose to kill them, because that will then cause two deaths in the night, which could simulate an inquisitor. So I think I need to make. The, I think those are the three major changes I need to make. This. Uh, all right, let's wake these guys up. Which Good morning, one? everybody. I'm afraid Brendan's buried in smeg. Uh, yeah. It's very uh, That's... surprising. Maybe it is paranoia. <laughs> Maybe, it is paranoia. Yeah. Maybe they just didn't know patterns. They just didn't know so, what you were. I'm going to put in my information yeah, in the chat. Day before he died. Because it might yeah. be final four. With... I hope we killed an evil, but just in case if we did not, I want to let the dead have a chance at you picked looking paranoia at again last night okay that's good yeah you learned yourself wow well. <laughs> yes i did <laughs> i did well, well, learn well, my well, cheers well. ben <laughs> four alive so rez or ellen could be the paranoia if it's paranoia and if i can i think it has and, to be uh, paranoia, right? like how would you if you're the inquisitor how would you coordinate so well that you never hit a person who's been executed ben, once. i have a question Yes. If Jesus is killed tonight, <laughs> assuming <laughs> assuming we go to sleep, does Jesus wake up immediately to yes. become a character of their That's choice? Exactly how and we come <laughs> and we come back to a final four. That is exactly how Kill that Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and then pick Jesus, and then we can just keep this game going. <laughs> we need to uh, kill. We need to kill Jesus. Let's do it. No, we can't right? kill Jesus. The demon needs to no, kill Jesus. No, Jesus has to die at night. Oh, or you have to die at night. If you kill. Jesus, Jesus just yeah. stays dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. Well, unless yeah. I'm around. Yeah. Unless I'm around. I love Look, I, I Jesus has to die heart. at night. It's just <laughs> a wonderful <laughs> point. Uh, right, I think we sleep, right? I don't see. We have Jesus to. Did we kill evil? 
at all? Um, I think Lyra is evil. I don't I think, think Ellen is evil. is evil. I don't. Here's the thing. I don't. I, also, I, I don't think. I don't think evil. we have three evils alive. I we think had, we would we have had, had nominations had one. on day one, and Ryan died. It's possible that Ryan's evil. I don't I'm... think it's likely, but it's possible. I think there's at least one evil dead between Lyra and Ryan. It's Ryan. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that there isn't another scutter in play to help confirm me. It is a plus zero to two. What's they the should course, probably the never say anything. It. Well, they're probably they're dead because right. it's not Ekin. I have not heard anyone claim that. And I think oh, lot. Yeah, I have a full grim. I don't nope, have it. That makes me JC, so you <laughs> learned <laughs> Vending Machine and... Toki Toaster and Holly. Okay, so one of the three of them is for sure evil. Unless not if it's, it's paranoia. paranoia. Unless it's paranoia and you are poisoned, yes. Which is yeah. probable at this point. Mm-hmm. In which case, it's looking like it's exactly resonant. Well, but then, Ellen, your suitcase would have never gone off because you selected it on the first night and you were poisoned, so you had no ability, right? I'm gonna no, but patterns, 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 patterns made, made. right? Yeah, 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 I picked clockwise every night. Obviously, Patterson ah. also goes without saying, uh, Ben could have just given me sober information because I'm next yeah. to confidence and it's traceable. I don't think he would have done. I think he would have taken the opportunity to just show me three good players roles. But... Let's go to sleep and wake up with four players and Jesus being so fit news. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Take it, Restora. Take okay. it. In that case, then, I'll end it in five. Vroom, vroom. Four. I'm not... <laughs> Four. <laughs> Two. One. No executions today. Buddy goes to sleep. <laughs> the token That's of Jesus fine. is just a picture of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what else would it be? I don't know, a cross or something. <laughs> no, it's, it's Jesus. The episode with Jesus in it is uh, when the crew of Red Dwarf <laughs> accidentally send themselves back in time to, uh, to like, um, biblical era Britain and realize that their time travel device is out of power and the only thing that will gem generate enough electricity to recharge it is a lemon. <laughs> and that's the, oh so my they have God. to travel across the entire world to the Far East <laughs> during the period of time when Jesus was wandering and they're just sat in this uh, restaurant eating food and Rima gets annoyed and goes, Jesus Christ! And this bloke just turns around and goes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Ben, you missed the trick of putting a picture of yourself for Jesus. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. He, might, he, might, he might have done. <laughs> uh. Okay, I can. What are you oh, gonna go for God. I don't like this. I don't like living to final three. Um, is there any point in picking a minion? Uh, let me talk th things through. Um, Mr. Flibble makes people that doesn't matter mi into minions. Um, Quick, I've already done. Disperse, Squid, um, Mad. It's kind of like a harpy. That didn't seem like madness was in play. Unspeakable one is probably in play, and I hope I didn't nominate them and get myself poisoned, um, which would fuck things over bad. So I think we know it's not Vindaloo Beast, so I think I'm gonna go back to um, Inquisitor and hope I get something useful. <laughs> okay, you choose Inquisitor, Inquisitor and you learn. Self, Ellen. Oh, that's spicy info. Although I got Ellen before, so it must be red. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Well, <laughs> this is hard. Okay, here we go. Final day. Good morning, everybody. I'm afraid JC is a massive smeghead. Welcome to your yeah. final three. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, thank I you wasted so much you. time preparing Kachansky quotes for when I was nominated. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to believe it is Resnora, so I believe this is a 50-50. I refuse. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even look in Resnora's direction. Yeah, I believe it's her. Ekin. Jesus so, Ekin, wins. That means, Ekin. Your, Ekin, your information says explicitly that Resnora is the demon, basically. So uh yep. fuck you, if Ekin. It's if it's paranoia, Although, it's Ellen or Resnora. If it's Inquisitor, it's yeah, Paranoia is Ellen, um, Inquisitor could... is Resonora. 
Why are we discounting uh, that it could still be Ekin? It's Ekin. It's not me. It's not me. <laughs> I mean, I feel like both Ekin and Resnora are probably I've, evil. It's just a matter of I which one the demon is. No, a Jesus is good! How <laughs> dare you! Is good. Ekin, Ekin is, of course, capable of bluffing vending machine information for an entire game, but I couldn't be fucked, it so is, I... <laughs> it's worth saying, if we think that demon is most likely paranoia at this point, based on there being no double death from Inquisitor for the entire yes. game, then Ekin gave me one of the roles that I saw blind in our first chat. So, I believe Ekin. What's he going to do? Not use the bluffs? Exactly! Yeah, well, no, like... but the point is, if he's paranoia, then I shouldn't have learned any bluffs. He doesn't know would... where Patters is sitting. Or you he does only not know. bluffs. No, but he... Yeah, or I, maybe I learned exclusively oh, demon bluffs. Or one, or two. Yeah, the... If Ekin is paranoia, he doesn't know who confidence is. That's not no, he doesn't know who Confidence um, is, but also he doesn't know that I'm Kachansky when he claims Vending Machine. Yeah. So he's just what Ekin, It's not what Ekin knows. It's it's no, the... but like, I think... I, think the, I think the point is is that JC would be poisoned, so why did Ben give JC yeah, okay. any bluffs? All right. Yeah. I'm re re reluctantly on board with Ekin. Yeah, if, it's if, at least one if, of them. Yeah, if, I was, if I was poisoned, I, I would be stunned if Ben didn't use the opportunity to show me three good players' roles. Yeah. And make me immediately start throwing sus at all of them, like how I nominated yeah. Ekin two days and then George. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Dylan. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, guys. Final three. At least one of them is the demon. One of them is good. <laughs> Nominations are open. Jesus is good. I don't I think it's Rez. I, I don't think it's Rez. I, I, I do trust yeah. JC. No, my sweet. No, Jesus, Jesus is good! <laughs> <laughs> is Jesus a wrongin? Imagine if you protected the demon, Ida. Shame on you. <laughs> I don't care. At this point, I'm just on Team Resnora. I don't give a yeah! shit. <laughs> yeah, Iris, let's go! Uh, could, it would be very funny if cat protected the, if the cat protected the demon. Second call yeah, for nominations. I... <sighs> Socially, I don't know. I, I think Ryan... Defending Ellen and Takitos there being potentially a demon bluff leads me to believe. And we tried. I tried so hard to get Ellen executed and was not successful. Um, so I'm tempted to think Ellen, but Resnora is so, kind of looking. We at executed Resnora, and she went along with it. She voted for herself to be yeah. executed. If you're the if demon, you're you don't know I'm truth. telling the truth. That's... You don't know I'm telling the truth. So the, Why would you fucking world, this world, That means Ryan's taken a, a poisoned know. bluff. I nominate uh, Resnora. Ellen nominates. Ellen's Resnora. even evil. Ellen's evil. evil. Mm. Um, based on JC's information, I think. I think Ekin and Resnora are both evil, it's just which one of them's the demon. Um, and I think Resnora is the more likely demon. Resnora, do you agree with this? No, I'm Jesus. <laughs> okay, Resnora's Jesus. Uh, minimum of two required. If I'm evil, then Jesus is evil. Or yeah. not real. Resnora's my suitcase, and I well, might get information this way. Let's go with that. Oh, wow. <laughs> It doesn't seem if like anyone wanted to go for this. So. If it's yeah. Res Nora, yeah. then Res, you're Red the ballsiest person I've ever met. Because enough. you... That was such a risk. Any other nominations? I'll nominate Ellen. Ekin, tell me why you have nominated Ellen. Two is easy to tie. I have wanted to do this um, since day one. Um, if it's Res, GG. Um, I know I'm good. Um, I hope you don't vote on me. Um, Let's end the Operation Suitcase by killing the suitcase. Ellen? Down with your suitcase. Um, I'm not the demon. I had one aim this game, which was to <laughs> kill Brendan. I failed. <laughs> um, but I'll vote on Ekin after this, because I think that's our only chance. Okay. Three to execute. Five. Whereas if you're good, will you make it five? I just, I don't, I don't, I don't. Five is enough. Can if, five if even be Operation tied? Operation Suitcase was evil the whole time. It <laughs> cannot, it can I only be tied. Not. Point, Ekin, I assume you do not intend to vote on yourself? No. In that case then, Ellen is executed and dies. Game ends. Congratulations. 
Good yeah. Oh, yes. oh, oh my Jesus. god. Jesus. Oh, Operation Ellen. Suitcase was a lie. <laughs> Believe in Jesus. Ellen, Believe in I'm Jesus. So sorry. No, it's alright. No, I could have I I realized after I used my ability I should have done it differently. <laughs> oh my god, okay. but Nora, you were evil? Let's, <laughs> see what let's, 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 do, um, let's do the roll call. So uh, we'll yeah, kick Jesus off, isn't real. We'll kick off with Brendan, <laughs> who was our one and only outsider, Captain Hollister. Uh, it was, I, I assume, absolutely pure chance that Ellen, with the suitcase yep. bluff, wanted to kill Brendan. Uh, maybe if you'd have picked a townsfolk, people would have been more up for it. Uh, who knows? We'll never know. Um, but yeah, it never came off, unfortunately. Uh, Ryan was Talkie Toaster. Uh, incredibly powerful character, but unfortunately you executed him on day one. Uh, after Sorry, seven Ryan. people said, how do you doodly do? As well. <laughs> Uh, Iris was Kat, who spent most of the game making JC drunk. However, JC was Kachansky, who only got info on night one anyway. Uh, and that info was drunk. I told him three characters that were in play and not demon bluffs. That was because Patters was confidence and chose to make uh, player clockwise sober no! of the correct info. And that guaranteed that Malashan got good info as Crichton because ironically confidence was sat right next to Paranoia who <laughs> uh, was Ellen uh, Ekin was our vending machine who probably got the most valuable information the whole game stayed alive for the entire thing amazingly uh, and got an absolute bevy of info correctly narrowing it down to be either Resnora or Ellen on the final day Resnora was Mr. Flibble who on night two chose to turn George into Queeg uh, unfortunately for Resnora, uh -huh. uh, George was actually Holly, uh, and the first time an evil player shoots <gasps> Holly, they're drunk. Oh, nice. Uh, so it actually oh. stopped Resnora from creating the, the the second and final minion, and almost scuppered the evil team. But I think Resnora managed to roll out of that one, and then turned Lyra, who began the game as Scutter, into our unspeakable one, who was nominated by Brendan twice and made Brendan poison twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fine with that. <laughs> What I realized well, I was, after, I was really sad about that. Yeah, what I realized after I made Lyra the unspeakable one is I should have just turned myself into Queeg 500 and swapped with Ellen and just kept Cat alive because then I couldn't die and that would have been a fun way to potentially win the game. I think that I mean, really I was well. with you all the way. Choose, yeah, that, that felt really oh, good. So you have to choose which menu you turn them into. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and you can delay it as well. And if there are, if if you're in a three minion game, you can make one person into a minion, and then make them into another minion, and then make them into another minion, and keep doing that until you've decided who you want your third minion to be. Yeah. The yeah, suitcase the, the ended up being like a beautiful social thing because everyone trusted it, and I was like, "This is great." Yeah. The the night that Brendan died, I was gonna say the next day that I thought that the. Mr. Quibble had made Brendan into a min into a Quee 500 would've, and swapped, and Brendan was would have been would have been a really good play. <laughs> exactly, I saw that. I was like, if I was the, if I was evil, that's what I'd do. <laughs> and I want to clear Ryan's that. I bet you died in a night. We don't have to worry about it. Essential. Oh. Ryan's accidental dead vote was essential to this game, and I applaud him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a few changes that I wouldn't mind running by you guys to see what you think mm -hmm. about them. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I think Jesus's ability should be. Uh, you're resurrected on the final night as another good character of your choice. That stops them from just becoming Jesus again. Jesus cycling. Yeah, no, Jesus, yeah. 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 Jesus, Jesus is eternal, uh, so it would be appropriate. Um, I think that uh, the vending machine should only learn a lot, like learn living players. Otherwise, the storyteller can massively nerf it too hard. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's fair. It gives the mm. demon some incentive to actually kill them as well. But it, I, it kind of feels bad with the Inquisitor when they don't get a choice. Yeah, uh, the it feels. The it Captain very Hollister powerful should have to pick the living player, like you said. Yeah, Captain Hollister yeah. should be the living yep. player because yes, Captain Hollister is the other yeah. change, or, or the third of four changes that I want. Captain Hollister should, uh, yeah. Yeah, that seems like a slam dunk. That one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. A living player, yeah. and then I could remove the not yourself bit. <laughs> So it yep. actually makes the token text smaller. Beautiful. Mm. And the last change that I think I'm, I want to make, I'm going to change the unspeakable one from if a player nominates you, they are poisoned until dawn, to if a player nominates you, you may kill them tonight. Because that will give an Ooh. extra second death, possibly, uh, which yeah. which might Ooh. simulate Inquisitor uh, a bit like better. Yeah, that. that's cool. I like that. Yeah. So, yeah. so, But they have to not die from that nomination, which I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.